What's up guys, it's Milano Lopez representing the Rio Grande Catters. We're here at Barnes Canal doing a little bit of bullhead fishing, seeing if we can get on them. It's about that time for them to start spawning. Conditions a little windy, very pretty outside today. It's almost looking like spring. The ditch is really, really clear. It has a lot of water. It's very clear. So that's why I'm sitting a little back for just in case the fish could see me because it's crystal clear beautiful so stay tuned hopefully we get on a couple of bullheads today we're running a uh, hot dogs um, cut sucker and cheese so let's see what happens so we just got our first bite on hot dog a Kentucky rig which would be my bait caster right here so let's see you just tapped it twice It's a beautiful day, it almost looks like spring. Did I just get tapped again? So we're staying low because the water is very clear, we don't want the fish to see us. So stay tuned, we're gonna bite right now, hopefully we catch fish. So we moved down the canal, we found a nice jam over there, but we didn't get no bites there. But I just saw a school of fish. I'm pretty sure there might be carp, but that means if there's carp there, there's other fish in between them. So maybe the bullheads are right here too. It's really deep. It's just really clear, so everything's picking us up. Robert and Mike, shout out to you guys. Robert's having some vehicle problems right now. That's why he's not here today. Mike's working. He's a workaholic. Gotta love the guy. It's a little windy, but not that bad. I mean, it's beautiful out here. We have hot dog and cut bait on our lines right now. Kentucky rig and a real ground rig. Or a sucker rig, I like to call it, because it's how I catch my suckers. So the bite's slow, but we found a pocket of fish, so maybe we can get on something here. Hopefully. dough bait and corn so I want to try to catch these carp but it's a bullhead thing today so that's what I'm targeting something's biting this rod right here We just hooked in a carp. Here's a nice one. We got an action on my other rod too, so we don't lose them. Lose a rod anyway. So we caught him on the Kentucky rig. I have to figure out where I'm gonna land him at.
caught them on a dough ball that I make for carp, especially it's a sweet dough ball. Okay, so we just hooked that carp. I guess they're starting to spawn. There's other fish in here spawning with them. I don't know what they are. They look like bass or trout or who knows. Maybe sucker. But it was a nice carp. It was about 10 pounds. It broke off right here at the end because I couldn't pick him up. It just took my hook, so it's okay. Caught him on the Kentucky rig that I use um, for uh, walking baits in the river for catfish. Just a regular ditch rig, like Kentucky rig. We call it a ditch rig here in Albuquerque. Um, they're not hitting the corn, but they're hitting my dough balls, my sweet bread that I make. So um, yeah, it was a good job, good fish. I'm already getting another bite, so maybe we'll be catching carp today instead of uh, bullets. The fish are spawning and the water temperature is getting up to where it needs to be, so we're that close, guys, for the catfish. Carp usually spawn in about 45 to 55 degree water, so catfish start spawning at 60, 65. I might have took my dough bomb, but I don't know. So my rod that I use for bumping handled that carp pretty damn good, so it's gonna be good for catfish, so I'm not worried about it. It's a little small, but that's how I like them for when I'm walking baits. You gotta have a bait caster when you're walking baits for catfish, guys. It just helps you relieve, release the line out easier, stop it, all that good stuff. I'll do a video on walking baits here pretty soon. bumping for catfish is another word for it without a boat might I have <laughs> using the current so I'm gonna check my baits and then we'll get back to fishing guys all right we just hooked up to our second one ball in the Kentucky rig again. That's the damn pack of the car here. I got slammed on both rods. I'm gonna have to put the camera down because I'm getting by two both rods. This one's really dark, guys. It's 
number two. Look at that. Nice, nice. These are, not, these are about eight pound carp, man. Ten pounders. Easy to lay eggs. So they're spawning. I'm gonna put the camera down and get this fish out.